update on a Chicago City Council measure that would limit where new dollar stores can be built inside city limits. Supporters of the proposed ordinance argue that it would be for the benefit of the community. Tia Ewing joins us from the live desk with more on that. Well, Don and Scott, we're actually hearing from Dollar Tree and Family Dollar on this one, but let's talk about what happened inside City Council chambers today. That legislation was tabled by the sponsor, Alderman Matt O'Shea, from the city's 19th Ward as he faced maneuvering by opponents. However, Alderman could take an take this up or down vote on the plan at the next city council meeting. That legislation would prohibit operators from adding new small box retailers within a mile of other dollar stores they own. It would also require new stores to display placards with maintenance and emergency information. Supporters argue that the crackdown will push operators to do a better job of maintaining their stores and to rein in the harmful effects the budget business may have on neighborhoods. Fox 32 did receive a statement on behalf of Dollar Tree and Family Dollar in response to this proposed ordinance, saying in part, quote, that it will limit one of the few low-cost, high-value options for essential household goods and force residents to travel further and likely pay higher prices. Those against the proposed ordinance say preventing new dollar stores would make it harder for low-income residents to get access to essentials, some calling it an overreach by city council. Of course, we'll bring you the latest here on Fox 30 as soon as we have an update, Scott. Tia, thank you for that.